Okay, in the following set of problems, we're asked to solve for solve the formula for the indica indicated variable. And I really like formulas because uh, formulas have an application across a whole different uh, set of areas. Uh, the formulas we're going to be focusing on here are um, going to be specifically for geometry, but um, formulas can cover anything from you know temperature, converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius, um, to you know if you're computing you know profit and loss in business. But these are that we're going to talk about are strictly for geometry. The first one says a equals b h solve for b. Well, this is the formula for area of a parallelogram, and um, area equals the base multiplied by the height. So that's interesting that I say that. Area equals the base multiplied by the height. And they want us to solve for b. Well, notice that I said base multiplied by the height. How do you undo multiplication? Well, the answer is that you should do division, because the opposite operation of multiplication in this case is division. So we're going to divide. Well, what do we divide by? That's the question. Well, if I want to get B by itself, what is it that needs to move? Well, that's simple, the H. So divide both sides by H, okay? And we have it line out like this. H divided by H is 1. So the base, in this case, is equal to the area over or divided by the height. And that is our answer for that very first problem. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. The next one says the volume equals one-third of the base times the height. Solve for H again. Or in this case, solve for H. So I noticed something about this. <sighs> Number one is the formula for the volume V of, well, perhaps a cone right or a pyramid all right I noticed though that it's got a fraction and I really don't like fractions right we love fractions so much right I always tell my students we love fractions so much that we get rid of them and that's what we're gonna do in this problem volume V equals one third of the base multiplied by the height. Well, we love fractions so much we get rid of them. The reciprocal of one-third is three over one, or just three in this case. So I'm going to multiply both sides by three. Okay, I multiply both sides by three. Now that I've done that, well, watch what happens. Okay, on the right-hand side, I have 3 times 1 over 3. Well, the 3's line out, leaving me with just BH. And on the left, I have 3 times V, which is just 3V. So I now have 3V equals BH. Okay. Now, this is similar to what we did in the example up there that I called number 5. Well, 3V equals B times H. How do I get H by itself? Well, I need to divide both sides by B. All right. That's pretty straightforward. So now that I've done that, H equals 3V over B. And that's pretty much it because now we're done. That answers that question there. All right, so then we look at the last problem, and the last problem is the formula for perimeter, and I'm going to rewrite it. I really don't care for that style of L there. I like to use capitals because it makes so much more sense. 2L plus 2W. So I want to solve in this case for W the width. Well, I notice right here that I'm adding 2L to 2W, so what I need to do is I need to account for this, and I need to subtract the 2L from both sides. Okay? And it cancels. So now I have P minus 2L equals 2W. Well, since I have the perimeter minus 2 times the length equals 2 times the width, 
and I want to solve simply for the width, well, 2 times the width. Again, the opposite of multiplication, division. I divide both sides by 2, and my 2's here line out, leaving me with W, the width, which is P minus 2L over or divided by 2. So my answer in this case is this right here. So this is a really classic problem, and of course you can rewrite it by asking, you know, instead of solving for the width, solve for the length. And what a smart student would notice is that in that case, W and L just switch. So that's what would happen, but otherwise it looks exactly the same. These two variables just switch places. So a lot of great applications that you can get from formulas, but this is how you would solve for an indicated variable. So good luck with these.